What up, it's your boy Dick Incredible, and yes, I am back at it again, and this is 911 Season Finale, Episode 14, and I gotta apologize to you guys. I was supposed to do it Monday, but I forgot to DVR it, so then I had to find somewhere else to watch it, because the normal site that I was using wasn't working, so I'm just now getting to it. But believe, I just finished it, and oh my gosh, this is a finale, man. Let's get into it. This was a good episode, man. It was so good. And what I mean by that is because everything that we were dealing with in the previous couple episodes kind of just got wrapped all up. Except for one major thing, which is Maddie's postpartum. And I feel like that couldn't be wrapped up in one episode. We, we just now realized that she had it in episode 13. So it could be wrapped up in episode 14. And I like the fact that that's something that's going to dive and into continuation it's not just going to be wrapped up in a couple episodes now everything else being wrapped up the whole case within itself was actually really legit i love that part because you know it kind of just gave us something to look forward to with all this being wrapped up but the fact that maddie's postpartum isn't wrapped up speaks volumes as well because it can't just be easily wrapped up in one or two episodes that's it, it has lingering effects it's something major so it's something that they actually really need to deal with now a lot of the stuff that got wrapped up this episode is bobby and athena's whole marital argument thing about them you know not really communicating with each other they communicated this episode both of them kind of just laid their heart out on, on the front line and, and was kind of open with each other athena was open with bobby about how she felt about retirement and that she almost really did kind of want to want to retire after being attacked and bobby kind of opened up to athena about you know how he felt about her being attacked and just listening to her being attacked when he knew he couldn't do anything like Stuff like that speaks volumes for 911, man. And there was so much other stuff in this episode. Like the actual case, I was all kinds of upset when Eddie got shot. You guys were, and I, you, you know how I felt about it. It was a lot of stuff, a lot of emotions going into it. And this episode actually brought a couple tears to my eyes, man, because like I knew Eddie wasn't going to die, but just seeing him hurt and seeing Buck go through these myriad of emotions man because buck was feeling some type of way this entire episode but the dude wasn't just shooting one firefighter he, he was trying to go out there a bunch of them because you know this whole thing because he felt like the firefighters were at fault for saving a junkie uh, multiple times and allowing that junkie to end up kidnapping some people inside of this building while his partner ended up shooting the wrong person like it was a whole thing but I love the fact that it kind of just wrapped everything up. But we also see that this episode, Buck is dealing with a lot of trauma while having to watch Eddie be shot in front of him and pretty much lose consciousness and, and, and lose a ton of blood in front of his face. Because when the shot impacted, Buck was just like, what? No, he, he was froze. He was traumatized. And the next thing you know, it kind of kicked in after watching Buck, uh, Eddie just lay there on the ground. You know, he was like, I got to get to him. I got to save him. So he pulled him under the fire truck and they started to, you know, escape, you know, the whole path of the sniper. But after that moment, after he was, you know, a little traumatized and then a little adrenaline kicked in, he was trying to save Eddie. We're at the hospital and he's, he's shaking. He's, he's terrified. He doesn't know what to do. He has to think about Christopher. He has to protect Christopher. And we see that Taylor comes in and we see that Taylor is there to help Buck. Now, I love the fact that this kind of pushed them together more as well with this episode because we knew in the last couple episodes that they were getting closer and closer together and we already know that they had that intimate relationship but they never had that, you know, that connection. And this episode solidified their connection and we see that Taylor's there for, for, for Buck. And I'm really loving this, man. But what brought tears to my eyes was the part where Buck was talking to Christopher. When Buck was talking to Christopher, that whole that whole scene, that whole moment, it just filled me with so much emotion because it was so real. Buck Buck was heartbroken because he didn't know how to break this to Christopher. He 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 didn't know what to do. But he was there for Christopher. And and he told him in a, in a in a legitimate way. He didn't just come straight out, well, you know, hey, uh, your dad been shot. You know, he 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 broke it down. He 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 sat with Christopher. He, Christopher was trying to guess and, and wonder what was going on. And Buck politely explained to him that you, hey man, your dad is not coming home. Someone tried to hurt your dad. He's he's hurt and he's in the hospital right now, but he's gonna be okay. And then after he got the text, he was like, yeah yeah, he's gonna be okay. And we see Buck going through a lot of emotions this episode. Taylor's there trying to help him, but when he goes to visit Eddie, after Eddie wakes up, 
he tells Eddie that he wish it was him that was shot. We see that he's dealing with so much stuff going through this because in that moment, Eddie looks at Buck and was like, no, man. Like, he don't say anything, but he's, like, thinking it. And we see Buck on this case where they're trying to save this dude up on the crane while they're still dealing with the sniper. Just so happens the sniper wasn't there for that case, but they were still dealing with the sniper because they had to put on um, bulletproof vests and helmets. They had to gear up and they had to go on every individual call with police officers and SWAT so they could be prepared in case something happened, you know, with this sniper. And in this moment, they had to climb up super high to get this dude off of these uh, construction towers or whatever. And he was trapped by this cable. Now, we know that Hen has a family. Chimney has a family now. And Bobby has a family. And Buck feels expendable. And Eddie said that at the end of this episode. Buck feels like, well, you know, I don't have like a whole, you know, someone to be there for me or a connection or a family like that. So I, I'm expendable. So he decided to climb up this thing without even thinking and put himself in harm's way on the line in danger to rescue this guy, which was a good thing. And he ended up saving the guy, but Bobby kind of confronted him at the end of, at the end of that little whole case or whatever, because he was trying to tell him like, you know, normally I'm okay with what you're doing because you're doing it. It's a, it comes from a place of love and from your heart. And you don't think all the time, but like sometimes it ends up helping the case or whatever. But this, you didn't think about this. You've done this because he didn't want to see anybody else killed and hurt in front of him well not killed but shot in front of him and not be able to do anything because it, it traumatized him with that happening to eddie and i get that but the captain made a va very valid point was that you know hey dude you can't do this man because what would happen if you got shot then we would have felt some type of way it's like an endless circle but buck felt what uh bobby was saying because then he started talking to taylor and he was like you know i kind of just wish he would have yelled at me because him being calm and cool like this kind of messed me up a little bit but then we see that taylor kisses buck and she leaves but like buck is like what the world is going on so that connection is starting to grow and i'm really really enjoying that man um we also see that maddie quits her job this episode now with her quitting her job we know that it's the postpartum and she she can't really deal and Sue tells her that I can tell that you're going through something. And if you need to quit, that's fine. Your job will be here whenever you want it. But you need to talk to Chimney. And I love the fact that Sue said that because Maddie probably wasn't even going to bring it up to Chimney. But because of Sue told her to, you know, she ended up talking to Chimney at the end of the episode and telling him that, you know, something's not right with me in here. I need help. And I feel like maybe, sure, it's postpartum, but I feel like because she doesn't know how to actually be happy because everything with her ex-husband, you know, her killing him, him abusing her, and uh, all of this other stuff, like her actually having a family with Chimney and having a daughter, like she doesn't know how to, to be happy. And she's dealing with postpartum. So like there's a lot of stuff going on with Maddie and I, I'm glad that she's decided to talk to Chimney about it. Um, there was so much in this episode, man. Um, at the end... We see that uh, uh, Eddie's fine, but he starts talking to Buck about what would happen to Christopher if he just so happens to be on the case and he's not fine. And he decided to give Buck sole custody of Christopher if something ever happens to him. And he was like, well, don't you have like, doesn't he have grandparents? Like, wouldn't they fight me for it? And, and he was like, no, because for some reason you seem to think that you're expendable. And Eddie's trying to prove to him that he's not. You're you're so valued. You know, like you're a member of my family. You help my son and all of this other stuff. So like, Buck, please take care of yourself. But don't just be out here trying to sacrifice yourself for us. Like we care about you as well. Like it's it's one of those things that Buck had to learn. And he learned that this episode, just like everything else, man, everything came to a nice resolution at the end. But like I mentioned in the beginning except for Maddie's postpartum. And I feel like that's something that we have to really just dive with. We also see that Athena's working the case of the sniper this episode. And with her working the case, one of the highlights of this episode for me is when she decided to find the location that the sniper went to and like kind of backtrack and try to find out where the bullets went. And she's up there the entire time, just, you know, exiting the bullets from the chamber and then boom, boom, boom. And next thing you know, they just keep falling, falling. And then one just rolls right into like the sewage drain. And, and she just kind of follows that. And they actually find a shell casing with the dude's 
well, not his fingerprints, but like um, the actual sniper guy and which led to the other guy. And they found it. I was like, dude, that is cool. Like the way that she done that and set that up to like exiting the bullets from the chamber, like boom, boom, boom. And then one just happened to roll down and they ended up finding the actual shell casing, which was nice. Um, but her working on the case, they ended up finding this dude that was the actual sniper. And we learned the story that, you know, he shot the wrong person in this hostage situation and he decided to quit. And they thought that he was a sniper, but after talking to him, they realized that it wasn't the case. And then Bobby and everybody gets on another call and boom, bam, we find out that his partner was the one that was shooting all these firefighters in the first place. But the moment that he shoots Bobby, you know, Bobby's trying to talk him down and everything and everybody's losing their mind because they can't get a hold of Bobby. Athena comes up, puts on firefighter gear, rushes into the building, and shoots the guy that, that you know, hurting her partner, aka her husband. And I love the moment because that kind of solidified everything that we were dealing with because we see that they kind of reconnected their whole relationship throughout this entire episode. And at the ending, we see that she came in rushing through the fires with her gun and saving Bobby. It made that huge connection. And at the end of the episode, we had a, a very wonderful, happy, nice, happy ending because we see that he and her family are at the park having a picnic and all this other stuff. And Nia comes with her mom and they end up having that nice connection because we know that that was a heartfelt moment for Han as well, losing Nia. But her mom coming back and them having a picnic together and having Nia hang out with Dougie was nice, man. That was very nice and happy. We see that Bobby and Athena are having dinner with Michael and everybody. And, and it's, it's just having a nice fun family time. Um, Buck and Taylor um, are, you know, kissing and hugging and everything else. Uh, Eddie's with his family and Buck, of course, you know, um, they're having like a welcome home celebration for Eddie with, um, his parents uh, and everybody, they're celebrating Eddie coming back home. And we see that Han is there, not Han, uh, Chimney is there with Maddie and she decided to talk to him. And at the very ending of the episode, we see some, like through all of these flashes, we see that somebody's climbing up some stairs and firefighter gear going through like, it looks like the actual firefighter training. And I didn't realize that until the end, but I thought it might've actually been a building or something, but like actual firefighter training. And we see that it's Albert. Albert became a freaking firefighter. I had no, I had no idea that this was Albert's whole, I, I, I didn't know that he wanted to do this. There was no inkling that he would want it to be a firefighter. Like, I mean, I know that he was talking to everyone outside of the hospital when Eddie was shot and everything and his um, hand-eye coordination came back and he's doing good with physical therapy, but I had no idea that he wanted to be a firefighter. Now we got we got Albert as a firefighter. Dude, this, this season was crazy, man. Like a, a lot of stuff went down, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of trauma, but we ended on a very wonderful high note. And I would just like to speak it out again that I love the fact that Maddie is still dealing with her postpartum. It didn't get wrapped up like everything else. That's something that we're still going to have to deal with. And I feel like 911 season four, episode 14 came hard core man this is your incredible don't forget to smash the like button until you can't smash it anymore comment down below and i'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe but only if you really want to man peace out